Hey guys, it's Tara and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will be making hummus three ways. That's right. But before we get started, I'd love for you to join our community and smash that subscribe button. We are going to start today with a spicy cayenne pepper hummus. It's delicious. Here is a list of the ingredients we will be using. I will also have them in the description box below. We're going to grab a can of organic garbanzo beans and I'm going to drain and rinse it and take one half of a cup and pour it in my Vitamix cup. Next I'm going to grab some tahini. I love tahini and I'm going to add two teaspoons to the mix. Mmm, so good. Next we're going to take some cracks of some Himalayan pink salt and some pepper. Use as much as you like. Then I'm gonna add one half of a teaspoon of cumin seeds and one fourth of a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. Next, I'm gonna take a lemon, cut it in half, and I'm gonna use the juice of half of it. Squeeze it right in. This recipe is so easy. Next, I'm gonna take three cloves of garlic. I love garlic. You can use more, you can use less. And I'm just gonna throw them right in the cup. Next, I'm going to take three-fourths of a teaspoon of filtered water and then I'm going to blend it all up. I love my Vitamix. Once it was blended up, I decided to add an additional one-fourth of a cup of chickpeas and one and one-fourth teaspoon of filtered water. Then I blended it up again. Hummus is so easy to make. Look at that. Ugh, so good. I scooped it into my jar. I love hummus. It's so easy to make different flavor, um, different flavors of, of hummus that you like. You can add different spices. You can change it up and put eggplant in there and make more of a baba ganoush. It's really good. So I could have stopped right here. This is more of a classic hummus, but I decided to this one I wanted to really kick it up and spice it up. So I put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil up on top and then I added one half of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This is a lot of cayenne pepper. If you do not like heat, I would not add this much, but uh, look at that. <laughs> it's really good. Intensely hot, but good. Perfect. Next, we're gonna make the classic hummus. Here is a list of the ingredients you will need. Again, they will be linked below. We're gonna start off with one cup of drain and rinse chickpeas. To that, one half a teaspoon of cumin and one fourth of a cup of tahini. I'm using a lot more tahini this time. I'm gonna add one half of a lemon and three cloves of garlic and again, salt and pepper. To that, I'm gonna add three teaspoons of filtered water, three fourths of a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil Ah, oh, and there we have it. I love it. Whipped to perfection. Hummus is so easy to make. Once you make it for yourself, you will never buy store-bought again. It is delicious. Look at that. Mm, can't wait to eat it. Perfect. Next, we have our spinach hummus. This one's my favorite. Here is a list of the ingredients we will need. Again, there will be below. And we're going to take, once again, one cup of the drain and rinse chickpeas, a fourth of a cup of tahini, half of a teaspoon of cumin, some salt and pepper, the juice of half a lemon, sensing a pattern, and three cloves of garlic. This is a great base for most hummus recipes. Now I'm going to take one cup of rinsed baby spinach and I'm really just shoving it in there. Doesn't look like it'll fit, but I'll fit it in there. Then I'm going to take four teaspoons of filtered water. And there we have it, look at that. Vibrant green, delicious, nutritious, easy way to get your greens in. I eat this stuff almost every day. I absolutely love it. Packed with nutrition, low fat, high protein, what's not to love? I like to sprinkle with a little bit of extra cayenne pepper on top. And there we have it, hummus three ways. If you like today's video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. For more recipes and fun, interesting things to make, be sure to check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time.